Now the fly I'm going to be tying is this here. This is a, a variant of a fly called the Clan Chief. This is a muddler version. Uh, it's a very good pattern for, I mean it's very good for salmon as much as sea trout and brown trout. In this case I'm tying this one. This is for uh, basically boys that fish the competitions and be fishing mainly for brown trout and rainbow trout. So it's a good pattern. It's a nice style as well. Now the hook I'm using, this is a fully milk hook. This is the Competition heavyweight in black, size 10. Thread, the usual, I'm just going to use the uni thread, 8 in black. Now, I'm going to start the thread at the eye, and I'm going to work my way down. I'm going to form the tag first, and as well, I'm going to tie it in the way down. This is a medium sized silver holographic tinsel. Now, as you work your way down, basically, you want to bring the thread until it's in line with the barb of the hook to this point here and then bring your thread back up just in line with the point of the hook so it's quite a long tag but you're shortening the body a wee bit I mean it really suits this fly so but to protect it some super glue onto the tag length and then wind over this with the tinsel and this will protect it just work your way up Nice and tight, and then tie it off. And I'm trimming that out, not exactly at that point, just slightly up. Now the tail is made up of two flosses. These are globe right flosses, number ten and number number four. Now as you can see, it's quite a thin fl uh, floss, so you need to build the you need about for each colour and about ten strands. And then brush them together using, I use a, a toothbrush, just, there's the, the yellow one. And what I would do is simply just brush it so the fibres blend together. Now the first to go in would be the yellow. You can tie them on it both, both at the same time, but I'm doing the yellow first. A couple of turns to get it caught in the red. On top. Now I'm going to make sure these are not going to move. Just going to take my thread up. You can hide all this with uh, using a seals fur for the body, and it's easy to sort of tidy that up. Do the length of the tail. You want it by the bended hook about a mill or so. Just trim them both together, and then you can brush them. This will blend again the fine fibres together. Now the rib of the fly is a small oval tinsel in silver. Now, and the one I'm using is a vineyard one, which is number fourteen. So I'm going to tie this in the way down. It just saves a wee bit of bulk, and you can get it close to the point where you want it to start. So I use the catch on my side, and then wind down. I want the body to start just a couple of turns further down, so just come over the tail and the tag a wee bit. Now I've got my dying black seals for. Now I have blended a tiny bit of the dying black rabbit as well. This will soften it up and make it easier to dub. I just blend them together. So when you basically wind on, stretch it out. Form a nice shape in the body. Just remember, you need a couple of mil, two or three mil anyway, for the, the muddler head. Let's give me the excess. Now, in the clan chief, uh, they'd be red and black normally for the body, but what I'm going to use is just the black itself. I'm not going to use anything else. Now, the fibre length, I like it to sort of basically come in towards the end of the tail in this fly. So it just basically it's got, you get a lovely shape in the fly if you do that. So obviously bear the fibres from the stem and then you're looking at a turn or two at the top and then work your way down to the tail. Get your oval tinsel, come over the hackle and then you're looking the body size of this, it's only you're looking around about four turns anyway, four to five. So just before you get the last turn, just draw back any fibres, 
come up with the tinsel, follow it with the thread, then secure it in. Yeah, make sure you do that because this is what's holding your hackle on. Make sure it's well tied on. Tidy this area up. I usually just break off the hackle. Now what I'm going to do is get some velcro and rough up the body, bring out some of the dubbing. Just get the velcro in there, all the way around. Just be careful of the, the thread, you don't want to catch the thread. Just make sure it's on the opposite side from the, the velcro. And then what I'm going to do is get some dyed black. This is roe deer which I've dyed black. And you form a small wing with it, just a few fibres. And then I'm going to form the head with it after putting some flash on. So there's a wing. You want these fibres to come by the end of the tail. So look at the length. I usually trim these so that I can basically tie them in and tidy up at the same time. So keep it on the top. Nice and tight. Make sure you have enough room there. You're looking, as I say, one to into your third millimetre or so. See how things are sitting. That looks okay. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to put some flash in it. What the flash is here? I've got a blue flash, a pearl, and a red holographic. All together. Now, you want it slightly longer, just by the ends of the deer here. Now, I'm tying it on my side. And then I'm going to come down towards the eye, fold these back so they're going to be come as I come back up, they'll go on your side. And then keeping hold of the ends, you can then trim them so they're both the same length. So we quite look at the length of these. Adds a lot to the fly. If you're happy enough with that, I think it's just a wee tad too long, so I'm just going to bring it together. Yeah, that's fine. You see, we're going to do the muddler head now. Got a bunch of the deer here. Now they're going to form a collar with the tips, so it's basically a, like a false hackle of deer here. And then I'm going to form the head with the ends as well, so it's going to do a dual purpose. Some of them away. So there's our length. Now the tips, you're looking towards basically the barb, not the full length of the wing, you want it shorter. So there's your length there. Set them on the top. Now you come round with a couple of turns, tighten up and then allow the D here to rotate round the shank. And then wind through the cut ends towards the eye. Tight, you want to do it nice and tight. Now I have waxed the thread so I've got plenty of grip there. It's important that you keep things nice and tight. Then bring the thread to the front, drawing back the deer here. Now I've got a small quick finishing tool here. This is the, the mini version, which I can get right in there. Nice and tight. This one's from TMCO. Yeah. Sure the knot's tight. Away. And then we have to form the head. Now see there's the cut ends. Just bring them straight out. You see how the things are sitting? Looks all looks, looks fine. Now we got a small pair of curved scissors. I like a small pair. Now I'm going to cut the, the head on the vise. So we start at the front, use the angle of the eye just to and the curve of the scissors to come round. So we start off quite short round here, and then, so we get the shape start. Take your time when you're doing this. Obviously it helps if your face can rotate. Yeah, take your time. Now I've always got to tie a good two or three of these to get into the idea rhythm. Not, deer hair is one of these type of fibres that 
there's like a you, you can cut and cut and cut and I'm never happy when it comes to sometimes these flies so just make sure that how things are sitting once these are fished them much look much better now I'm going to finish off with some red varnish some highlights I'm just using some some of my daughter's red nail varnish here it's the colour of the, the hook up at the head now allow that to soak in a wee bit and finish it off with this uh, you can finish off another coat of the red varnish or you can basically coat, coat it with a clear varnish it's up to yourself just going to make sure the eyes clean yeah and there we are and that's Clan Chief Muddler <laughs>